Hello everyone, this is Mark from MySize Hedge Fund and we are here with the first episode of Exchange of Information, a dual collaboration we're doing with, uh, this is Azrael Viz. And today I'm joined by Sean Lucy, one of Ireland's top players. Uh, say hello, Sean. Hello. So how did you get on at UK Nationals recently? That was kind of the biggest event you've had. No, it went well, it went well. It was a long day, long day, seven rounds of Swiss. Um, yeah, tough going. It, very tough going. Barely didn't make the cut, actually. Yeah, you were unlucky. Going into the last round, you seemed to be in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I needed to sweep to get in, basically. Um, and I ended up splitting in the end, which, which sucks, but happy enough. Like the, the field was incredibly tough over there. Yeah, such a strong field. Yeah. But yeah. Um, So this series is all about taking a deck with a spectator, and as, a, as we'll have the same on the other side, you'll have a spectator with him, and we'll kind of play through a deck and see how we get on. So we're playing Argus today. And uh, do you want to talk about this deck in general? Yeah, sure. It's it's based off the um, the deck that Seamus won uh, the Scottish Regionals with earlier in the year. Um, obviously, it's updated a bit with all the new cards that uh, our Wayland have been getting. So it's it's very rushy. It just rushes from turn two, turn three. If you're scoring out agendas, you're forcing the runner to kind of start making bad choices then. Um, and and hopefully, good at doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So either you're going to rush out agendas quick and they can't stop you, or they get a bit too greedy trying to stop you and you can double scorch them or, or single scorch them if they've played badly. Sounds like a plan. Uh, what do we think of this opening hand with uh, Cast and Call, Swordsman, Wraparound, Jackson and Oaktown Renovation? Yeah, I think that's a really good opening hand. You've got uh, you've got the Jackson draw, you've got an end the run ice, and then you've got economy basically with the, with the Oaktown. And Cast and Call means that you're probably going to get that Oaktown from fully off. In yeah. fact, you might even want to advance it a bit more than uh, the four times. See how greedy we can get. Exactly, exactly. How do you feel about the Andy and Criminal matchup at the moment? Uh, before Blood Money, I would have said it was an easy matchup, but oh, cool, okay. Uh, but now that they got Temujin, they're like, her economy is going to be nuts. Yeah. So let's just hope they don't get a turn one Temujin. With uh, with some dirty laundries and Desperado would be kind of bad. Yeah. So I, I think assume they'll... wrap around onto HQ. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Stop that siphon. And are we throwing R and D on, or swordsman onto R and D just for the sake of it? Um. Maybe draw up one more time. Just see if we not get another end the right end the run ice. Oh, okay. Beanstalk. Uh. Yeah. I just popped the beanstalk. I think. Okay. Just a bit of money. Uh, so what we want to see now is another end the run ice uh, that we can pop over into a new server and then drop the casting call. Start going as fast as possible. Exactly, yeah. Just start scoring straight away. Um, the Andy matchup is interesting, but she she, she powers through turn one. Uh, so I am going to assume they're running... Uh, oh, God damn, go. there we go. There's a Temujin. Right. As long as there's no dirty laundry... Uh, like I said, Andy just should get set up so quickly, so well. It, in a way, it's nice to see Criminal making a comeback. Mm. But uh, yeah, this card, this card alone is just phenomenal. I'm very surprised to see them drop the uh, the uh, John Masonori. Yeah, turn one, drawing that extra card. That yeah, the draw is nice, but like th this means they can't face check as much as mm. as maybe they'd like to. Because um, if they it, obviously you get a tag from it, that will hurt them. Um, I probably wouldn't have dropped so. it myself. Well, stupid Timjin. Not the worst it could have been for us, because they're going to have to shake the tag. It's unlikely yep. they want to take the damage already. How many cards in hand? Seven. They might take the damage. I doubt it, though. Actually, they'd be. You wouldn't really want to do that. Um, might be ideal now to drop the swordsman over R and D just to scare them a little. Okay, so they did take the damage in the they end. They did. Oh, they, they lost, lost the uh, Earthrise and mongoose. Pretty good uh, hits for us. Losing that mongoose is pretty, uh, pretty big. Okay, so we got a spider web. Okay, so I think what we do here is we put the swordsman over an R and D um, block off because we don't want to leave R and D open to the the Temjin runs. Uh, drop the spider web into a new remote. Perfect. 
and then uh, we can just either gain a credit or draw up. I like the credit. Okay. Stay safe. So next turn now we'll cast and call out the uh, cast and call out the um, the Oak Town and just double click. They probably won't contest it that early, especially with a casting call on it. So it's it's two free points and uh, a bit of economy. But unfortunately, they hit the hostile takeover, which would have been nice to have. Would have been a nice burst. Uh, yeah, nice burst, but also turns on the archers as well. Yes. And since they lost a mongoose, that's not a bad thing. Well, they got a second mongoose. Okay, they got a second mongoose. That's a bit weird. What are the odds? <laughs> Two mongoose is a bit unusual in the landing. So, God, they're actually running. What the do we bother? Um, let me think here. Three. It's gonna cost them one, but they get three back. Yeah, I'd still res it. Just tax them. Okay. I'm amazed they're making this run. To be honest, it it costs them one unless they want to take the net, but. Now they're thinking about it. Ah, oh, they'll break it, they... No. Okay. We've been really bad at predicting what they're going to do. So we're doing it. Hit a thermal thing, which is pretty good for us. That's not bad. I suppose it does cost them three to break the swordsman like so. Yeah. They do want to keep the money up as well because of a uh, sea source or whatever. All the surprises that Argus can pack. Mm, yep. Oh. oh, they hit the price. Like, that's that's bad. That iron casting call. Yeah, that would be that would be super nasty. So there's no zealous judge in this deck, is there? No, no, because you're you're not really going sideways. You're generally s making one extra remote or one scoring remote, and that's it. Okay. So the okay. plan is still cast and call Oaktown. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, do the hedge fund. Uh, do the hedge fund install advance. Um, that way, if they hit HQ, we can let them in safely. Maybe they'll hit the snare. Possibly snare them, yeah. Yeah. So, putting the pressure on nice and early. Yeah. They can still inside job that, obviously. Um, but you're taking probably two tags, maybe two meat as well. So I think they'll... I'd imagine they'll let that go. I'd be, I'd be surprised if they actually can test that, that, that at all. Q, click one inside job, <laughs> given the track yeah, record they're so good. far. They're good. Worst case scenario is they have a networking in hand, which would suck. It's nice to see the casting call this early as well. There's always the risk that with one of, that it can come out with your mm -hmm. the agenda that would win them the game, and they just don't care about it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you have two diversified as well, so you can go find it if you really want. But uh, I think it's just beautiful starting with that and the Oak Town. Living the dream. Yeah. Can't complain at all. So I think they need to get set up here a bit more. Um, instead of contesting the uh, the Oak Town, maybe get out your crowd or get out your paperclip. Get out a code gate breaker. Do you Who think paperclip is the default go to now for criminals? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. It, sa it saves you an influence because originally you were running two crowders. That's true, and you don't have to worry about the, the lack of recursion then as well. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 amazing. It's just it's an amazing. It's the fort install is kind of a hurt is a hit, but yeah, especially when you see something like vanilla or resistor. Yeah, Aww. yeah, but it's just it's better than crowder in every way, except for the install cost. Now they're taking their time here. <laughs> <laughs> who's uh, who's as playing with? He is playing with Damien, as far as I know. Okay. Uh, well, Damien is a, an Argus player. He played Damien that up. He's an Argus veteran, yeah. He played that up in Belfast, didn't he? 
do quite well with it. So if there's anyone to try and counter a push like this, it's probably him. Yeah, yeah. But this isn't his... He, his his Argus deck was, was very weird, very different. It was kind of a, a DRT snares kind of thing. Yeah. I think they, it loaded up more on the kill, whereas this deck is more of a rushy deck. It will just rush out agendas. Uh, you've got the kill as kind of just a nice backup. If all else fails. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Are you at all tempted by the new Builder of Nations ID? Yeah, I think it's good. I think I think that and Argus kind of do the same thing. They're both very rushy. Boo. Oh, I can let it fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're chipping away, which is not bad. Turning wheel. And we'll oh, that's that. nice. That's very nice. So. Yeah, they're committing a lot for this single access. I feel, I think maybe they're kind of tunnel visioning in through R&D. Mm. They're not kind of setting up their board state, and that's what you really want. And I think... In this instance, even if you are going for the single axis, with Temujin there as well, I think mm, you take yeah. the hit of the Mongoose and just... You're, you're still netting two credits, I guess, yeah. but maybe their hand isn't great or something, so they don't mind it too much. Just sack everything. Yeah, yeah. But like stuff like that can come back and hurt them later on. I think Especially losing... at a criminal. Unless they're playing a levy, which would be yeah. a bit of a surprise. Like losing, l losing that Earthrise um, on the first turn. Oh, they had a second one hand. Uh, losing that Earthrise... Um, at the beginning was definitely harsh. So another turning wheel there. Okay. What so do, now, they get? do we want to score this out, or do we want to just keep advancing and seeing how far um, we push it? I think we can advance it up fully, maybe not score it. Okay. Um, let me just think here, do we actually want to score this? Because we're getting, because they're not contesting it at all. Um, actually, uh, no, it's scored. I'd say just scored. And then what we can do is drop the Jackson down in their next turn. Um, start drawing for another, uh, for some more, uh, for some more agendas. Sounds like a plan. A two nil or two one lead yeah. kind of puts the onus on them to to push a bit more then as well. Yeah, exactly, and they're not they're not set up nicely now at this stage. Um, and what we can do as well with the Jackson is we, we can recur the casting call. And hopefully find a piece of ice that stops them. Yeah, yeah. Or Price X or whatever. Price X would be very nice. Okay, they're going to spend. Oh, they're breaking it this time. So that means they probably have stuff in hand they don't want to lose anymore. Oh my god, we got it. The single axis is working out okay for them. Yeah, three points. We we would definitely would have liked that uh, that atlas. Yeah, I think they have stuff in hand they want to hang on to um, because they're not taking the meat and they're not taking the net. Oh, we find ourselves okay. a changeling. That's good. Um, I drop the Jackson into the remote now and start drawing up. Okay, so I'll draw two. There's one okay. of our scorches and an archer. Okay. Um, I would install over R&D now, let's let's stop giving them those accesses. So um, I'd say the best bet is put the changeling onto it. We can throw the, we can throw the, um, we can throw the archer over the scoring server. Um, and if they want to face, uh, they can face plant it if they want, if they want, they'll take a tag from John. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that's a real downside of him. Mm, that's why I'm surprised. I know he gives you good draw, but I'm surprised they dropped him um, against this deck. So 
So this should ease the pressure a little while, because, as you say, they have to find their breakers now. Yeah, but and actually even better as well, um, after they do get their paper clip out, um, we can advance that changeling and turn it into a sentry, and Mongoose won't be able to break both. So sneaky. It's brilliant. There's our Arthurize. So there's the draw. And special order for paperclip, which has got to go into the heap. Yeah. So that means the uh, that means the wrap around. It's wrap around an HQ, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I'd go ahead and just score that. Score that hostile straight. Get some money. Get the archer on board. Exactly. Yeah. And then next turn we can throw the archer over. Maybe the scoring server. We'll see. My connection doesn't want to take all day to advance stuff. So a question with the changeling and paperclip. If we advance it, it gains cold gate. Uh, it becomes a sentry. Or, sorry, sentry. Does that kick in before or after it gets raised? So as in, are they going to encounter it and can they get paperclip out if it's advanced? Okay, so uh, if we advance it now, it turns it into a sentry, so paperclip won't uh, uh, paperclip won't trigger, I believe. Lovely. Because it loses barrier and becomes a sentry. Excellent. So it could be a real MVP for us here. Yep. Um, but we can see their economy now. They're down to five at the moment. Um, they haven't seen their security testing either. So if they, if they want to take the hit of four to install the... Uh, to install the paperclip, then I think we're okay with that at the moment. So I'm just going to run archives. Are they going to apocalypse us? <laughs> Starting to wonder. Well, they get a draw and a credit, so it's probably the best thing to do uh, as opposed to actually drawing. Let's get the efficiency going. So what's our next protocol? We want to put the archer onto the scoring server? I think so, and get ourselves another agenda. Um, if we can get another two-pointer out, that puts us on game point. So ideally, in the next, um, in the next turn, uh, we'll hopefully drop an agenda. Um, so I'd say we uh, mandatory draw, obviously, Jackson up. If we hit an agenda, pop the Jackson, put it in, put the archer over. And as you say, that puts him in the, the bad position. Oh, employee strike. <laughs> and an inside job. Okay, uh, yeah, I'd say let them in. There's no point raise, raising the changeling. They are going big on these single accesses. Yeah, well, it's worked out well for them so far. They got three points. And presumably we're not using Jackson or anything here. Um, no, because we want to draw into the agenda with them. So, they got the last Temujin contract out. Okay, so it's not an agenda on top. They probably have an Ur Temujin in hand, maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. I'd be amazed if they're not running three. It is great. Yeah, so we'll want to arc. Uh, we'll want to ice up archives um, after we put the archer on the scoring server. Try and make it as difficult as possible for them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but they did. They did expend a, an inside job there to get into R and D, which means they don't have an inside job now for the scoring server. Perfect. And they've dropped a Gordian blade, which is okay at the moment. So their 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 breakers are out. Um, it's just their economy hasn't taken off. Just a scorch. So draw two. Um. Yes, draw two. Find ourselves another archer and an oak town. Okay. So. Um, I was hoping we'd hit a hard hitting news. I'd say archer over the scoring server. And then we either want to put that other archer over HQ or over archives. Um, 
I think HQ might be a good bet now because it's a, that's a corroder. Or, sorry, it's a wraparound over HQ, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, they which they can break. Uh, so the siphon, the siphon now would be kind of bad for us because they get a lot out of that. And again, you're looking at the turning wheel threat as well. Mm. It becomes more efficient then when you have another Temujin contract on R and D or HQ. Yeah. So we need to limit damage yeah. control, basically. But I think the next Temujin is going to go on archives. Here we go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So this will this will power through their economy. Yeah, that's Temujin for you. It'll get you your uh, get you a nice amount of credits. So we're looking at their full breaker suite, and we've an employee strike down. Yeah. Makes it a bit more tricky for us. We got a fracking into hand as well. Hmm. Um. Let's Jackson. Get crisis management and okay. Enigma. Okay. I'd put the Enigma in archives. Let's tax them somewhat. Um, and let's. I oh know we want to. Uh, let's beanstalk. Lastly. And which is our, which is our least favorite of the agendas? Yeah. Um, the one we don't want to. Uh, I'd say we can drop the. Um, uh, I drop the crisis management. Crisis. Um, we are on. Like we need two two pointers to win the game, basically. So a one pointer isn't great unless it's a hostile takeover. So this seems like a trickier spot now. They've managed to get themselves mm. set up once they stopped taking the single axes. And it's amazing. We have that great defensive angle. It's well, we 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 can still count on the uh, having the scorches, the scorch package because we've got two in hand, mm. which is quite nice. And here comes the siphon. Okay. So are we second the hostile. Yes, we don't want them to get a to get a siphon off because the economy swing then is huge. Yeah, <laughs> not the Oaktown. Not the Oaktown. Be very click. Be careful on what you click. Um, this is very expensive for them to break. Do we bother with the wraparound? Oh well, they'll have to get the paperclip out. So. Yeah, they'll have to. They'll have to get it, which they will. So it's more of a economy hit. Hmm. Yeah, if they jacked out. Maybe they were worried about a second archer or another. Uh, another. Um, Any other sentry at all? Mm. Okay, yeah, they're going for our guys. So we'll raise everything. Um, it's a damage and run. And they have the one bad pop as well. Yeah, so they're only breaking it for one. Um, they're gaining four out of it. But yeah, we might as well. I guess we might as well raise it. It means they're not they're not gaining, they're not running, 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 and we're gonna pop the Jackson, obviously. So we're gonna put back the agenda. Presumably cast and call. Uh let's see here now. Yes, cast and call definitely. Uh the agenda. And I take a hedge fund. Yeah. The worrying thing here now is the archer over the scoring server isn't isn't really usable. Hopefully we can find ourselves another uh another hostile soon. Mm. Another 
another enigma. Another enigma. Um, let's think here now. What's the what's the inside ice again? Oh, it's a, a spider web. Yep. Okay. And they're on eight credits. So we can try and push a score here. So if we go uh, the enigma over the scoring server, just so that they can't inside job and make it easy for themselves. And then install the Oak Town in advance. It. Um, I'm also slightly worried about a legwork now at this stage. If we kept the Oak Town in hand. Yeah, at least we'll have to, or we'll make them work for this. Yeah. The only problem is it puts them on game point if they get it. how quickly criminal has come back in fashion yeah it's one pa one pack and they get uh, they get two amazing cards basically like I mean Temujin contract is is amazing soon the we'll money. be wishing for wizard to come back yeah or we might see a lot more next dice and that will definitely be uh hmm. not something criminal would like to see Unfortunately, they're only gaining they're only gaining four credits from this run instead of uh, instead of five. Small mercies for us. Mm. It's not the best, but like the money the money you get from Temjin is is crazy. Like the the return is is amazing. Like at least with Liberated, you don't really make the turn back for a couple of clicks. Definitely not by the first click. It's Temjin, you actually do make the money back if you have Desperate Out. And their, their first one they did actually was... Uh, yeah, that's inside job. Inside job. So, Enigma, Archer, Spiderweb. Um, yeah, we'll raise the Enigma. Even though it doesn't cost them anything really to get past it, anyways, um, we don't really want to res the archer, obviously. But so the we'll spider, off, yeah, I, I think resing the spider web is fine. It forces them to go get their uh, their paperclip. So unfortunately, they were all too eager to get. So now we're in a bit of a tricky spot. Yeah, we knew they'd they'd get that. They 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 were they're all set up for that. And economically, then they've got the tension out as well. And they've gotten rid of networking. That's a weird choice. Um, I what I do here now is credit hedge fund. Obviously, get a, get our money back up. Um, and let's put the snare into the remote. Maybe oh, they'll think so we're trying. Maybe they'll think we're trying to push an atlas out. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they have another. Uh, maybe they have another inside job in hand. So we've seen two, and they've lost one same old thing. So. Mm. So they probably have two more same old things. Uh, floating around, uh, but they know they can get into that server. Like there's absolutely this, nothing stopping them. This is the mind games of Netrunner now. Hmm. <laughs> Hopefully it pays off. Just as long as they don't like work. Oh, 
Pretty. Another one. So, changeling. Yep, res white. At least you can afford to res it and snare them at the same time. Yeah. Maybe they'll see this as uh, as us being low on credit so they can contest the remote. Um, next turn, then we can advance it and turn it into a sentry, and that will that will make things a bit easier. They'll have to pull the ferries down to break to get in there or take the net damage from the swordsman. So they're not making any money really from this uh, from this run, but it's, it's practically a free run. Yeah, that is the great thing about the Temujin yeah. I know we've talked about it an awful lot, but it's great to be able to make back your your investment. Yeah, absolutely. The employee strike really hurts Argus. Yes, yeah, it does. Uh, that's why we need to hit in our hostel very soon, hopefully. And now they might be considering the remote. Hopefully. Although if they do hit it and they hit the snare, uh, we'd go broke. Which isn't great for us either. Hmm. So they've trashed the same old thing. And a passport. So if we can snipe that Gordian, um, they're pretty much in a bad spot. We got ourselves mm. a cobra. So now, what is our play? Um, I think we, uh, I think maybe the best thing is uh, advance the changeling anyways, turn it into a sentry. That means they can't break both. Nice. And credit, credit maybe? Seems solid. Yeah. It's unfortunate as well, and to be clicking for credits, but. Yeah. There are still two hedge funds in there. Um, so this is just weathering the storm for a while. Yeah, if we can get um, a hostile, we will be in a much better spot. It'll turn off the employee strike. Uh, which is, I suppose the employee strike isn't big at the moment anyways because our ability doesn't matter. But uh, more more important that it's economy and it turns on Archer. Yeah. At least this Archer did its job as well. Uh, put them off the same old thing. Mm. And there we go, that's the third one. Uh, they're all, also almost out of cards. Um, in their deck. Okay, another crisis management pops up. Okay. Um, let me just see here. We haven't seen any legworks out of them yet, so I'd assume there's a legwork in hand. Just um, waiting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is definitely not what we want to see. So what we could do here is install the Cobra over HQ, and then just click and gain credits. That means they cannot. They they need. He needs to. They need to start dropping fairies, uh, which we haven't seen either, actually. And we've only seen one siphon, so I'd imagine there's uh, more to come. More siphons to come. But we have short things up quite nicely now. Losing mm. our early mongoose as well. 
was yeah, losing cool. losing one of the mongooses was nice. If they had both mongoose out now, that would be quite rough. Because um, this deck is very heavy on the on the code gate or on the sentries. Very heavy on the sentries. Um, there's a grim in there as well. So if we can get the grim as well, I like it. We're in a good spot. But I imagine now they're probably going to start digging for like a uh, uh, fairies, maybe a fem if they run fem. Fem would be pretty terrible to see right now. Yeah, fem is definitely not nice. So let's hope they don't run it. How many agendas are in this Wayland deck? Um, there are 12 actually in total. So what's left in the deck is there's two Atlas, one Oak Town, there's two Hostels, uh, one more Geothermal, and then obviously the crisis management we haven't had. Which we keep seeing and don't really want at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So what we really want actually is, is, is a, a Hostel. Well, sneak door. Mm. So that could be that. Yeah, it's a 50-50. It's almost a pity the snare oh, is just sitting them. safely in the server now. And that is that, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, the sneak door was a bit of a surprise, unfortunately. Yeah, but we would they had HQ pressure definitely in there. Um, so to come. How are we looking? Where is our house trial? Oh good god. There it is. A while off. That's quite a bit off. Um Consulting might have been nice. So where do you think we could have changed the line of play here? We needed to rush faster. Um they got the the the, the um the pulls they got, the Atlas and the Hostel from the single axes were, were very nice for them. Yeah, that put us uh, quite far behind. That hurt us a lot because if we'd managed, if let's say they hadn't pulled those at all, we would have gotten off an extra, one of the extra Hostels would have gone off. Also an Atlas, that would have put us in a great position. Um, also drawing into, what was it, Temjin with, with career fair as well was, was very nasty. Yeah, they got, they got a nice setup going. Yes. Pretty yeah. early on, and we couldn't get the ice then for covering all the centrals, unfortunately. Yeah, Temjin is, is a good card. It's a good card. And our price X were very far off as well. Ugh. That's heartbreaking stuff. <laughs> but then's the breaks of uh, Wayland sometimes. Yeah, true. That's so, very true. Thank you for joining me here anyway. Uh, no problem. We'll work out what we're doing next. And I uh, hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot.